Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Think Tank Thursday. We are excited to be joined with one of our own. Vivian Cantario is here to talk about Q3 and all of the marketing and promotional things you should be thinking about as our recurring segment. But before I jump in, I've got to say a big thank you to our 2022 Think Tank sponsors. You'll see them on the side there. Thank you to Party Center Software, Betson, Embed, Simnox, and Redemption Plus. Without their support, we would not be able to bring these to you every single week. Guys, I know that things are super busy in the world, and so marketing is often one of the things that go by the wayside, and then you're caught off guard by the next event that you need to be planning for. That's why we're here, uh, and that's why I brought on Vivian. So Vivian, take a minute and introduce yourself. Hi, again, Vivian uh, with Pre Entertainment. I've been uh, with Pre Entertainment go going on uh, six years now. So, gosh, it's been it's been forever. I feel like this is this is my family. So, I'm super excited uh, to talk about Q3 and everything that's going on right now because it, it's summer. We're in summer. We are in summer. Before we jump into the actual events, Vivian, if you don't mind telling a best practice, you know, we talk about the 30, 60, 90, what does that mean in terms of marketing planning and what you actually hope and that some of these segments help people get in the, like to doing with that? How far in advance should we be planning? What are those best practices? Well, it really, and especially in event planning, um, you really need a good amount of lead time. So you want to be able to, if you don't sit down at the beginning of the year to really uh, do your entire schedule, which a lot of people do, and it's a fantastic way to do it, even if you're breaking it down like we're doing right now by the quarter, um, but that way it gives yourself enough lead time for like the bigger events, the things that you have to purchase things for that you have um, more um, uh, staff uh, necessary for, you know, certain events and things like that. Even right now with the whole supply, you know, chain issue of even getting the small little things that you may have wanted that you can't get. So as long as you're giving yourself enough time to uh, be able to plan for these things and, and also be able to, you know, have an effective marketing plan in place for your media, your social media accounts, um, you know, putting things out there if you want to do any kind of videos or anything like that, you want to start 90 days out and then bring it back 60 days and then bring it back to 90 days. So you can have everything planned out and you're not like scrambling last minute trying to figure out how are you gonna do those things and have like everything encompassed, right? So not only what the event is, but how you're gonna get the word out. What kind of advertising are you gonna do? Are you gonna print out some cards? Are you gonna invite your community? Are you putting out, um, you know, social media posts? You know, how early should you be putting those things out? So. It really does take a while to make sure that everything, you know, is in place so you can have these successful events. Awesome. Thanks for that. So Q3, we are there in, a, in like a couple of weeks, um, and that is July, August, and September. Summer is here. Yeah, yeah. It, it's summer yesterday. So we are first day, really fir first big day here of summer. Um, and we're in Florida, so it's also hurricane season. So you can have hurricane parties if you're in, in the South Florida area. Well, I guess up there too in Georgia, right? Um, but making sure that we're planning out for what's going to be happening in the summertime, we use the REACH calendar. So if you guys don't have the REACH calendar, it is a, it's a great resource to be able to really see um, what's happening, even the fun little events, um, July, you know, we've got big 4th of July celebrations going on now um, that are hopefully planned already because it's just, you know, a couple of weeks away, um, making sure that you have, you know, those things in place. If you haven't done a Christmas in July, Oh my God, that is like a fantastic way to really bring in a lot of different groups. It's a lot of fun. I've had, I've had uh, centers who've done great promotions and sold a lot during that Christmas in July. 
Christmas in July is such, that's the one I was going to ask about in July, because I feel like it's such a great event because it can be a big party for people to come in. You can bring a Santa, you can have like special menu items if you have a um, restaurant component to your attraction, but also have your sales team there to invite some of the big decision makers for companies. And by having a Christmas in July party, it will help them start thinking about their holiday parties that are going to be coming in December and getting deposits and getting places booked for that for their staff as well so all around just a good event to have from many different aspects of the business that people have a lot of fun with that um and it could be a really fun i've had i've had centers who've done like you know the whole tropical themed christmas in july you know had actually a santa come out with you know board shorts on and just made it really fun so there's a lot of things that you can do without it and that really does help sell and helps you put more people into that funnel coming through for holiday events. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? You know, you always bring those really fun dates to us. Um, so are there any cool dates? Well, in you know, there, there's a lot of really fun ones in July. July, we've got ice cream day, July 17th, you know, so like if your center, you know, serves any kind of ice cream, even ice cream cups, it's a lot of fun. You know, why not have a, you know, like a car show outside? I've had centers who brought in, they've teamed up with, you know, certain, you know, historic or old, you know, uh, VWs and, you know, Mm -hmm. just really Corvette, you know, just enthusiasts, right? Like car, car enthusiasts that have their own clubs, have them come out and do a whole thing in the parking lot. It's a lot of fun. You could, you know, incorporate that with ice cream or snow cones or anything else like that. And it's going to really attract a lot of people. People are going to see that from the parking lot. So it becomes a lot of fun. For ice cream day, in my experience, especially um, depending on how close you are with your local media, if you offer like a free basic ice cream cone, let's say, um, you get a lot of media coverage that day because uh, local media likes to cover all of the places that are participating in those. And it's Mm -hmm. easy coverage and PR for your business to participate in ice cream day. Absolutely. And it, it's, it's a great way to just bring in the, and attract, you know, a lot of people that are, are just out wanting to have something fun to do on a hot summer day, you know, uh, which then brings you, you the, uh, the family picnic kind of things, you know, family reunions, anything like that during summer, which brings us into August, which is, you know, really the family, uh, it, 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 it's the month of family. And so is it really like officially August? <laughs> Yeah, the family is officially the family fun month. No idea. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's a lot of fun to be able to have all these different kinds of events in August, especially for a family entertainment center. I mean, you could really do a nice job of you know planning things out so you have something for week one, week two, week three, week four, and then you know put that together with back to school as well. So making sure that we have things like, you know, a a school supply drive, you could give away, you know, a kid's meal with a book bag or something like that, and really partner up with the community. If you have a very, you know, high visibility um, shelter or anything like that, that you could bring in media as well, that you're doing a supply drive, they love those things during August. I have also seen, you know, I, I see it all the time on social media. People are wondering how to get their posts more seen. And the way that you get posts more seen is you always get people to interact, to share, to tag you and all of those things. I have seen a lot of locations do the post your first day back to school photos and they go into a drawing for whatever your center may have. Um, it could be a pass. It could be a go-kart ride. It could be a movie ticket, whatever it is that you have, but like mm-hmm. post your back to school pictures. And so that gets people interacting with your page, tagging your page, voting on the photos, all of those things so that you can get more visibility there as well. Absolutely. Even if you wanted to do a whole little, you know, it wouldn't be like their first day back to school, but it would be like for the last day of school. So like in in your community, you know that school starts on, on that following Monday, you could have a whole little thing set up 
we've had, we did a really fun back to school pep rally where we invited like the local schools to come out and they had, we had, you know, people from the band, they actually went through the center, you know, with horns dressed in their, their marching band. We had cheerleaders, we had balloons, we had their, their, their big mascot, you know, so it's a really fun way to, to really interact with the community. And oh, I, cool. I love that. Yeah. Um, thinking about back to school. Also, if you have a lock-in, if lock-ins are part of your business, a lot of the churches, when, when school goes back in, they do a celebratory, like right before school starts lock-in for their youth groups as that like last two raw of summer before they go. So definitely um, looking and reaching out to them and letting them know that you could be the place for that. It's so much fun. I, 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 the, the back to school stuff is to me, it's always really where it's at, you know, there's so much that you can do with it. And like I said, if you really start planning it out where you have for that family fun month, something going on every, every single week, you know, or you could do it every Friday night or, you know, the day maybe that's not as busy, but you want to bring in traffic on a Wednesday night or something like that, that could be the really fun night, you know, have, a uh, Hawaiian theme on one Wednesday night, a barbecue theme the next, you know, and just really target a, a lot more families that way. You know, um, looking at social media, I love when you can incorporate the people, your guests into your presence on social media. So I was just thinking about how fun it would be to send someone out on t- at times to interview a family and kind of have them as your family of the week. You post them on social media, you yeah. ask them some like cute, fun questions that can go out there and um, tag them and all of that stuff. I think that would be so much fun. It, it's it's a great way because then you're including that family um, and you're having their, their friends, their family start tagging. And that's a great way to really increase that, that visibility and that um, having people comment on, on those posts. And I can even see the hashtag families that play together, you know? Yes, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so much fun to that. Family fun month, you know, families that play together. There's a lot of things that you could do with that. Awesome. Um, round us out to September is the last of this quarter. And, you know, I have to say yeah. football's back in September. So yeah, yeah, that's, you know, big sports, uh, big back to school. Everybody should be back in school now. Um, it, it's really a fun uh, a, a fun month that that now that, that all the kids are back in school, you could actually plan a little bit more. It does slow down a little bit during September. Once the kids are back in school, you're not going to get as heavy traffic. So it's even more important to really plan these things out. Um, if not, you get to September and all of a sudden you're like, oh, so then it becomes birthday, you know, birthday month, which, hey, we've got that webinar coming up and on July 7th. So oh, yes, you do. it's really getting ready for all your birthday parties. And that's when they really start is September, because that's where, you know, kids are back to school and people want to have birthday parties with their whole classrooms. And they, so they kind of wait. They don't do as much during the summer. The summer is more, you know, fun with your friends, fun with your families. But the actual parties are mostly done during the school year. Mm-hmm. I would agree. I'm a summer baby and have a summer baby. So I actually just had her birthday party last weekend. I sent those invitations out there the last day of school because otherwise you're not going to see all those kids, you know, before then. Um, you know, also with the the ramping up, I don't know if people know this in the business, but I know that summer seems like it's more even because people are coming in during the day. You've got more weeknight traffic and all of those things. But really in this industry, 85% of business is done Friday night to Sunday. Yeah. And only 15% is done Monday through Thursday. And so it's really gearing up for those super busy weekends again with, and the reason why is birthday parties start to really gear up. Yeah. So ramping up those parties and making sure that we're ready for the, you know, for the, the amount of parties. Um, and right now I know that, you know, some centers are, are experiencing not having enough staff. So making sure that you've got your scripts ready, that you are, you know, uh, planning those scripts out to make sure that you're only giving them, you know, the, the times that you can have those birthday parties. I, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day and, you know, it's, it's so important for us to be able to fill our schedule the way that we want on the weekends, especially now when you know that 
Saturday, your college student went back to school. Now you don't have them. Your limited times, your limited time slots, you know? Mm -hmm. So make sure that that's included in your scripts as well. Got it. Um, and then, you know, with the back of football, that it's not just football that comes back, guys. It's all of those school all activities, yeah. all of those sports, all of the clubs, all yep. of the band, like all of those different departments of school are back in full gear. And so it gives you a whole lot of people to partner with, to um, host spirit nights for. They're all raising money for something a lot of times. Um, you know, it gives you all of that, those things. And typically you can go on a website for a high school and find out who is the coach or who is the um, faculty advisor for each one of those coaches. And then beyond the school, you know, I know that Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts typically do a membership drive about this time mm -hmm. about in September every year because the school gets back. That's when they get the biggest number of members added to their clubs. So what other things are there in your community um, that may be meeting or getting ramped back up in this time as well? It, it, it just research the community. I mean, there's so many different things. And like you said, the big one is that the Girl Scouts do have have their big jamboree every year. So make sure that you're a part of that. Look for your local council, Google it, look and see, you know, who your local council is. You probably have some people already that are coming in that are your clients that are, are Girl Scouts, you know, talk to them, talk to, to, to your, talk to the people that are there, you know, make sure that you know what schools are going to, what activities, you know, what clubs, all those things are really important because this is a time to really plan out for the PTAs, um, all those back to school functions, art gallery night. We've done art gallery nights where we set up, you know, tables around and the families come in. Oh my gosh, those have been really great. So don't think that you can't do it because you don't have the space to do it. Be creative, do it in the party rooms or do it in one of the centers, do it in, on, on, on the walkways, you know, coming in. All it needs is, you know, six, you know, six foot long tables. So it really does bring in a lot of families there. And I know we spend a whole lot of time talking about schools, but think about outside of your schools, um, your mom's clubs, if you have any in your area, they will start really ramping back up as school goes back in session because they are um, a lot of times stay at home moms. And so during the summertime, they have all their kids there. And so it's harder for them to do things with their littles. So look for mom's club. And what homeschooling organizations do you have around you? In the past couple of years, homeschooling has grown quite tremendously. And so I see a lot more homeschool days. Do you have those planned out in your calendar? How do you get the word out? How can you connect mm -hmm. with that community? Yeah. And, and as well as also making sure that you're ready for if you do any kind of like team building, you know, more adult things as well. Um, it, having those things in place now to make sure that in September, come September, October, you've got, you know, a lot of that, that stuff in place, whether it's, you know, flyers that you need or any kind of programs or any kind of events, plan them out now. Um, e even, even churches, when they go back to school, they start forming those youth groups, you know, mm -hmm. coming back to school. So it's important to contact, you know, making sure that you're looking through the reach calendar, the planner to see who to call, when to be calling them, it's going to be really critical. Agreed. And as we're going back to school, one of the things I love to talk about in terms of marketing is, do you have certificates that you share with the schools or with daycares? Um, you know, I remember the Book It program. And when I was growing up, it was you read so many books and you got a free personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. But why can't you do something similar with the reading teachers in your local schools? Read so many books, have parents signed off of it, and you get a free admission or a free go-kart ride or a free um, slice of pizza. Um, I've seen it in daycares have the potty training award. Um, I know when my daughter went to first grade, they, they had a, I can tie my shoe club. So you got to be a member and you got like a certificate and all of that. Once you learned how to tie your shoe in first grade, and it was a big deal for first graders. And so looking and talking to your schools and finding out even those outside of the box certificate, creativity, marketing type ideas that you can do. Um, you can go be a guest reader at some elementary schools and give like a bookmark to every kid. And on the bottom of the bookmark, it could just have a coupon that gave, that gave them a bounce back to come back to your center. 
Absolutely. Look at every single opportunity because th there's just, when you look at the calendar and you're looking at all these, you know, national fun days, pick something and make it, make it a big event. And like you said, even for like those certificates and awards, they could be for the smallest little things, as long as it's marketed right. As long as you've got some great images, some great visuals, some great representation of what you're going to be doing, people would love it. It's especially different kinds of things. I agree. Vivian, thank you so much for sharing all of those ideas. You know, I can't let you go without asking you the last question of Think Tank. So what are you doing these days to grow yourself and or others? Um, it's summertime now. So right now, what we've been doing is actually a lot. I've been I've been researching plants, <laughs> because I've been doing a, a garden, and we're going to get back into, you know, doing some container gardens. And so I've been researching plants. That's been my big thing now, like what to grow that will start growing now during the summer here in South Florida. Um, and that, that, that's my fun learning, right? So then work learning, I've been doing a lot of, you know, trainings on video, um, presentations, all that fun, you know, beautification of things, <laughs> that, the graphics, the, the motion video, all that stuff. So it's been a lot of fun. You're definitely the one that makes us look beautiful. And I have to brag on you to the audience, like, guys, Vivian is proof that if you want to know how to do something, you can learn how to do it. She has built a bathroom, remodeled it by tiling it, built walls. She has done all kinds of stuff that she has taught herself through like videos and tutorials and all of those things. Absolutely. It's so much fun. That's why, you know, it, when you are a learner, you do it in every aspect of your life, you know, and there's really, there's very little that I'd go, well, I can't really do that, you know, okay, well, our air conditioning broke, and we had to fix it, you know, so I can't do that, it would take me a long time, but things that you can do, you can definitely take the time out to research it, and then, you know, there's a YouTube video for everything, I want to say. That is definitely true these days. Well, again, thank you for your time. Thank you to our 2022 Think Tank partners. As Vivian mentioned earlier, we will be hosting a birthday webinar on July 7th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can check that out at trainertainment.net slash webinars and go sign up for that. Um, and it's entitled, Are You Ready for for birthday season like we were talking about here it's coming are you ready for it and what can you do right now to get to get um your team prepped um thank you to everyone if you want to be a guest on think tank please don't hesitate to email me candy at trainertainment.net and we will see you on the next episode bye guys bye